Hey guys, are you ready to level up your low light filmmaking capabilities on the Osmo Pocket 3? I'm out here ready to share five tips with you on how I get the best results while filming at nighttime on the Osmo Pocket. So hit that subscribe button and join me on this adventure as I take on the night with the Osmo Pocket 3. My first tip is to play with creative outdoor lighting. Embrace the natural light around you. Seek out natural light in your environment. Experiment and get creative with what you find. As you can see in this scene, I am using neon lights to help light my face. And over here, I am using the hanging lights to help light me up as I walk by. My second tip is to use a tripod or wireless mode for added stability and smoother shots. Low light often requires longer shutter speeds, which can amplify camera shake. My third tip is to shoot in D-Log instead of the Pocket 3's low light mode. This gives you the most latitude between the highlights and shadows in your footage. I always recommend shooting in D-Log to ensure the best quality out of your Osmo Pocket 3. My fourth tip is to embrace the manual controls. The Pocket 3 shines in low light with its larger sensor. Aim for a shutter speed of 1 over 50 to avoid excessive blur at nighttime. Next, let's move on to your ISO. Start with a low ISO of 100 and increase gradually until you find an acceptable balance between noise and brightness. Remember, noise reduction and post-processing can help soften the blow. I also don't mind a little noise in my footage. I think it looks a little bit more cinematic than a digital video file. My fifth tip is to take advantage of the night scenes to shoot some time lapses. The clouds are moving a lot faster because of the wind, which the wind is pretty crazy. So I think it might be really cool to test out the time lapse capabilities of this camera. Honestly, I just took a look at the time lapse. I had a shot of this building over there and it was honestly really cool. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. You can get some creative time lapses at night, especially with cars or anything with moving lights. You can drag the shutter on the Osmo Pocket 3 to create some dynamic time lapses. My bonus tip is to edit to enhance, but don't overdo it. Post-processing software such as Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve allow you to adjust brightness, contrast, and even reduce noise. However, pushing these edits too far can lead to unnatural looking results. Apply adjustments subtly and selectively for optimal results. Awesome, well once again guys, I would like to thank you for watching my video. It means a lot and I really appreciate all you guys' support. Let me know what you guys would like to learn next on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and yeah, I appreciate everything. All right, peace.